Hello everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I am Sharanda. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in and I hope and pray that you stay and I hope and pray that you hit the subscribe button and continue on on this journey here with me on this ministry if you are returning thank you so much for returning i love you all so much to pieces okay um i could not do this ministry um without somebody um listening and tuning in and listening to what god has given me all right so i just thank you all so much for that um today we are going to be talking about the number 33 okay the number 33 so if you have been seeing the number 33 um please make sure you continue on um listening to this message so you can know what it means all right but i said in the um other videos as well um is that um god has really been pressing hard on me about these numbers he keeps showing these numbers to me but it's just to point um all of us back to his word okay because a lot of us are getting too far away from his word okay and we have to bring ourselves on back to his word all right so we're going to start with psalms chapter 33 and this is the whole chapter and i'm going to go ahead and read the whole chapter because it's not that long okay so if you want to go ahead and get your bible you can go ahead and do that but i will post the um the Bible verse is on the screen as well so that you can go back and, and read these as well and see which one fits you, okay? Because every one, every one of them doesn't fit you, but one of them does, okay, if you've been seeing these numbers. Um, Psalms chapter 22. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for praise from the upright is beautiful. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make melody to him with an instrument of ten strings. Sing to him a new song, play skillfully with a shout of joy. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his work is done in truth. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the right of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap. He lays up the deep in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He makes the plans of the peoples of no effect. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen, chosen as his own inheritance. The Lord looks from heaven. He sees all the sons of men. From the place of his dwelling, he looks on all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashions their heart individually. He considers all their works. No king is saved by the multitude of an army. A mighty man is not delivered by great strength. A horse is vain hope for safety. Neither shall it deliver any by its great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him because he has trusted in his holy name. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us just as we hope in you. Maybe you haven't been praising him. Maybe you haven't been dwelling on the goodness of God. Maybe you have been through so much in your life that it has had such a tight grip on you that sometimes you can't you can't even praise the Lord. And sometimes, y'all, it's, it's like that. Um, but focus on what he has brought you through thus far. Um, so you may be seeing this number as a reminder to praise God and to dwell on his goodness. Okay? Dwell on his goodness. And I know... That may seem like a simple thing to naturally do, but sometimes we forget and God has to bring things to our remembrance. 
because we get too comfortable with not praising him and dwelling on him, okay? Um, also, John 3, 3. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. God is letting you know that you have to be born again to get into heaven. Don't think you just going to enter on up in there because that it just ain't going to happen. Okay. So you may be seeing this number if you are not born again. God is calling you to that. Born again is accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So you may be seeing this number because you haven't accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior yet. So go ahead and take care of that. All right. That is very important. Uh, Matthew 3, 3. For this is he who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. So you may be seeing this number if you have been chosen to teach and preach the word of God. Chosen to teach people how to get out of the wilderness um, that they are in so they can be on this straight and narrow path. Also, Proverbs 3, 3. See, Proverbs 3, yeah, Proverbs 3, 3. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Forsake means leave you. So let not mercy and truth leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. So in Hebrew, mercy means steadfast love. Steadfast means unwavering love. So don't forget it. I always have it with you, which means to be godly always because God has mercy and God has truth. And we are supposed to have it too. Okay. I always have love in you. I always have truth in you, no matter what. So you may be seeing this number if you haven't been having love and truth in you. Like you have been very hateful toward people, mean, low down. Um, that's not unwavering love. And you haven't been telling the truth. Like you tell more lies than you tell the truth. But how can you be godly if that is the case? So this is a wake up moment for you to have love and truth in you. Um, just think about, pay attention to what you're doing. Pay attention to the words that are coming out of your mouth. Is it more easy for you to lie than for you to tell the truth? Okay, God is, is calling you out on that, okay? Um, Galatians chapter 3, 3. Are you so foolish, having begun in the spirit, are you now being made perfect by the flesh? So you may be seeing this number if you started off good, following Christ, but now you have let the flesh control you. Your flesh control you. Um, you have fallen off that straight and narrow path. So God is wanting you to repent and come back to Christ, okay? This is a daily walk. Um, we do not get any days off. We do not get any breaks or anything like that. This is a continued walk with the Lord, okay? Um, Colossians 3.3 3, For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When you gave your life to Christ, the old you died and you became a new person in Christ. So you may be seeing this number if you keep going back to the old you, your old life, your old ways. It's whether you are all in or all out, okay? There is no in between. Also Psalms 3, 3. But you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. If you have been down and depressed, um, just feeling like the, the world is on your shoulder, um, just a lot of things going on, it's a re reminder that God protects you and lifts you up during those times that you need that lift. So you, you may be feeling like that and then you look up and you see 3-3, three, three, okay? Nobody can lift you up out of a depression the way the Lord can, okay? So if you've been feeling like that and you look up and you see three three remember that the lord can bring you out of that you know just call on him during those moments all right um also three three in greek means come go to lead and in the concordance 33 is connected to john 
chapter 4, 13, and James chapter 5, verse 1. So John chapter 4, verse 13 says, Come now, you who say, Today or tomorrow we will go to such and such a city, spend a year there, buy and sell, and make a profit. So you may be seeing this number if you haven't, if you have, sorry, if you have a bad habit of boasting about what you are going to do and how it's going to turn out because you really don't know, okay? It's good to believe things are going to to go a certain way, but again, we don't know the outcome. We don't know the outcome of anything, okay? Only God does, but what we can do is pray over what we are wanting to happen, okay? Um, sometimes we boast too much. James chapter 1, I'm sorry, James chapter 5, verse 1. Come now, you rich, weep and howl for your miseries that are coming upon you. So you may be seeing this number if you are you are rich. You are rich and you have a whole lot of money, but you have not been using your money to help other people. God is not pleased with that. And if you still got breath in your body, you should be asking God to create in you a clean heart. Because if you are rich and you haven't helped anybody, and there's so many ways you can help people, and you haven't even thought about it, your heart is evil. It's evil. And some repentance needs to be going on because the word of God says it is easier for a camel to come through the eye of a needle than a for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. The eye of a needle is extremely small. Okay? So fix it. God is not pleased. He is the one that blessed you with the riches. And you on this earth being stingy, and he can take it away from you at any time, have you no shame? Right? Have you no shame? You should be ashamed. Um, God is using numbers to get our attention and redirect us back to his word. So find what fits you, okay? Find what fits you. Um, ain't no angel numbers on this channel. None, none, none whatsoever, okay? I do not believe in them. And if you do, repent for that, okay? Repent for that. Um, if you have recorded any videos concerning angel numbers, and that's what you call them, angel numbers, like I said in the other video about these numbers, Delete every last one of them because you have been leading so many people astray with that information and cause them to worship and serve a different God because angel numbers are connected to divination, which is connected to the devil, the enemy, our enemy. That's one of his sneaky ways to lure people in. So if you have lived by and believed in angel numbers, Come to repentance. Ask God to forgive you for that unknown sin because you didn't know. You did not know. And begin to retrain your mind, um, retrain your brain to start focusing on God instead. All right? So um, go and look at all the videos I have done on certain numbers that God has allowed me to see um, already. And that will help you to retrain your mind and retrain your brain um, to get you back to God, okay? Because following angel numbers takes you far away from God, all right? So I will link all of them in a playlist at the end of this video so that you all can see um, what the word of God says about these numbers, okay? We cannot steer left. We cannot be following these angel numbers and their meaning. We just can't do it. That is not the way, okay? So that is all for now, and I will see you all in the next video. And if you have not subscribed, please make sure you go ahead and do that. I hope I have been saying something that resonates with you. Um, also, if you are new to this channel, um, this channel is basically about um, the words that God gives me. 
Um, his Holy Spirit speaks to me a lot and I share that on this channel. Um, I also share my life experiences and my testimonies um, and I also do Bible studies as well, okay? So um, if you're looking to grow um, with the Lord and grow in your, your life, you know, because there's always room for growth, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, all right? And I will see you all later in the next video.